بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر امجد علی ان دس پریزنٹیشن آئی ول ایکسپلین میٹ لیب پروگرامنگ آف دا سیکنڈ میتھڈ فار سالونگ آ نان لینئر اکویشن ان ون ویریبل وی آر فالوئنگ دا ٹیکسٹ بک سمپلیفائڈ نومیریکل انالیسز سیکنڈ ایڈیشن دس از اے لسٹ آف فیو روٹ فائنڈنگ میتھڈس دیٹ وی ہیو انکلوڈیڈ ان دس سیریز آف پریزنٹیشنز ان دا کرنٹ پریزنٹیشن we will explain second method programming in matlab or octave first we will discuss the algorithm or pseudo code of the second method to solve fx equal to 0 this is the iterative formula of the second method the inputs required by the algorithm or the methods are a and b two real values as the initial approximations sufficiently close to the root tolerance which is a real value as the permissible error and an integer n as the maximum number of iterations the output of the method is a real value as an approximate root of the problem equation the output is obtained on convergence or on completing n iterations whichever happens first as a step 1 we can receive the inputs as stated above as a step 2 we copy one of the two approximations as the latest root and we call it xn next we copy the two approximations as x0 x1 and evaluate our function on these two points x0 x1 and we call it fx0 fx1 the next is the major processing step that is step 4 in which we will perform iterations of the method we take a for loop in which the index variable k varies from 2 to n plus 1 in each iteration first of all we will copy the xn value into xp xp is to keep a copy of the approximation xn and xn is going to be updated using x0 xn fx0 fx1 in this formula we will get the latest approximation to the root evaluate the function f on xn and we call it fxn next we compute the error between these two latest roots as relative error or we can choose absolute error formula for computing the error we will compare the error with the tolerance if error is less than tolerance we terminate the loop we will stop the iteration otherwise we need to move to the next iteration for this we will prepare two approximation for the next iteration in this way we will copy x1 fx1 into x0 fx0 and xn fxn into x1 and fx1 so we have prepared for the next iteration the loop cycle is complete and we are going to the next iteration that is from step 5 we will repeat this process again and again until either k has crossed the limit of n plus 1 or error has become less than tolerance whichever condition is satisfied first the loop will be terminated this loop of iteration has two features first of all because of this for loop and this this much count limit it is acting as a count control loop and because of this termination condition of convergence it is acting as sentinel control loop finally we can print the output xn additionally we can print x0 x1 the two initial approximations the total number of iteration which is equal to k minus 1 at this stage and function value at the latest iteration and error as well if error is less than tolerance at this stage we can display a message that the desired accuracy achieved solution converged else we can display the message the number of iterations exceeded the maximum limit This is the problem statement that we are going to discuss for the upcoming code our initial approximations are x0 equal to 0 and x1 equal to 1 the tolerance is 10 raised to power -5 the maximum number of iteration capital n is equal to 100 this is the matlab code or octave code for the second method to solve the given problem the first command is clear to remove all the variables from the memory next clc this will clear the output screen we set the variable tall to represent the tolerance of this quantity n is equal to 100 as the maximum number of iterations next we receive two inputs as the two initial guesses x0 x1 using these two commands 
next we move to the processing section first we copy one of the approximation to xn and we evaluate the function fx at x0 and and x1 using these two statements now we come to loop of iterations k varying from 2 till n plus 1 we copy xn into xp and we use the iterative formula of the secant method to compute the latest root next we evaluate function value at the latest root xn xn is our latest root and xp our root from the previous iteration you can say we find their relative error or absolute error whatever we want and we copy it into err variable now working in the current iteration is complete we can print the number of iterations the approximate root value fx value and the error value as we like and we will test if error is less than tolerance we will break the loop or stop the iterations otherwise we need to move towards next iteration for this we prepare like this we copy x1 fx1 into x0 fx0 and xn fxn into x1 fx1 in fact whenever we start any iteration we have two values one is x0 and other one is x1 as the two roots for the formula to compute the latest root after terminating the loop we have reached here we will test if error is less than tolerance then we can print the desired accuracy achieved solution has converged else the number of iterations exceeded the limit because of these two print statements we can get value something like these so students develop this code and run this code and obtain the results thank you very much for watching please share and subscribe good luck assalamu alaikum